Well, hello there, great person, and welcome to another episode of Multi Scared. We're Multi, me, be scared today by this video called Five Ghost Videos So Scary I Disappeared for a Week. We will see. This one is from Nukes Top 5, as you can see, so not Frostmare. We've had enough Frostmare videos the past few times. I wanted to take it, uh, change it up a bit. And now we have Nukes. Nukes was quite quite good the last time I think so let's see what he's got for us today and let's not waste any time let's get scared with style and start the video top five ghosts caught on camera hiding under the covers oh no over on the YouTube channel Austin's vinyl corner this guy, whose name is Austin, uploads videos where he discusses and reviews vinyl records and talks about all things related to music collecting. Austin has never shared anything on his channel that is even remotely related to the supernatural. That is, except for one creepy video. Now in the video, Austin explains that he was sent some spooky CCTV footage by one of his coworkers who claims that her house is extremely haunted. The young woman says that late one night she was fast asleep. You gotta have that good looking woman in your video for clicks. <laughs> Just kidding. Sleep in bed when the motion activated CCTV camera in her bedroom Just captured kidding. a short video that is absolutely chilling. Play button. Where is it? Then play this one, then I'll play the next one. one. This door one right before it. With the one minute intervals. It's gonna play 30 seconds. Then it's gonna stop for a minute. And within a minute, this weird shit happens. Ah. Uh. Oh man. Ooh, that's bad. Oh, that is really bad. <laughs> Reminds me of the Doctor Who episode, listen, where the, the monster thingy came from under the blanket and just sat there like this hill of this 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 uh, shape of uh, the blanket and under it there was something you didn't see it looked like looked like this one that's scary didn't scare me because it was too quick it was no build up it was just suddenly there but yeah it could have scared me if it went on for longer let's see if there's something else in this one yeah i wouldn't sleep if i yeah oh man at first, Austin's co-worker is sleeping quietly and the CCTV camera doesn't detect any movement, other than some occasional tossing and turning in bed. But then, late into the night, the camera starts to record as something moves. Yeah. Something that almost looks like the head of a person rising up underneath the sheets. When the woman awakes, the creepy figure vanishes into thin air. So, Austin's co-worker yeah. claims oh, that the video man. is one. Yeah, look at that. That looked like the one from Listen. That's bad. 100% real. And even Austin himself says that he doesn't believe she would even know how to fake such a creepy encounter. But let me know what you think. Caught on camera. I hope she's okay and that was all. Because that was messed up. I hope it was just passing through. I really hope it was just passing through. That, I mean, it could be a nice ghost, you know. But that was weird. Joe Colion is stopped by a Houston police officer for suspicion of driving under the influence. Despite the fact that Joe explains that he is physically handicapped with a bad leg, the officer still forces Joe to stand for 20 minutes to take a field sobriety test. Why? Eventually, Joe Colion is arrested, but it should be noted here that Joe was later proven innocent in court. Hey, uh, why, why are you making me do this? I, I will conduct your test, but I'm gonna tell you this that I'm handicapped. Okay. Like you see when I don't like this place. Okay, I, I, have a, I have a false leg from my okay. hip to my knee. Okay. Also, this police officer in the video later resigned after it was revealed that he had received multiple serious complaints of misconduct. 
For the full story, I highly recommend checking out the in-depth investigation over on the YouTube channel, San Joaquin Valley Transparency. When this video was posted, many YouTube viewers spotted something else in the video that was oh, also okay. very disturbing. I was going to say. Watch closely. Yeah, hello, man. Ooh, that's strange. What are you doing? Where are you? It's on its merry way. That's nice. Hope it doesn't come back. A strange figure that looks like a person seems to glide behind both Joe and the police officer at an oddly fast speed. Now, at first, I thought this was simply a compression glitch caused by someone passing behind them oh, in the dark man. too far away from the camera to appear clearly. But that theory is pretty much disproven by the fact that multiple vehicles pass behind the two men and all of them appear very well lit and highly detailed. That's so unnerving. So what do you think this dark figure is? Is it something paranormal that was accidentally captured on police dash cam footage? You decide. You can that is bad. That is so bad because... Yeah, it looks like... like, like, like why 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 would you fake this you know in this situation why would you fake this it's so random oh, that's so eerie you can watch a great video breakdown of this potential ghost footage over on the youtube channel san joaquin valley transparency and you can see the original full-length unfair arrest over on the youtube channel joe colion if you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. <laughs> the shortcut. The ghost that scared my mama. <laughs> Early one evening around 7.30 p.m. in Gothenburg, Sweden, Elon is on her way to an appointment when she decides to take a shortcut through a small park in the city center. It did not go well. Elon is completely alone, and as she's walking through the park, she decides to record a video to post to her Instagram page. Oh man, what was that? What was that? Men där framme. Ah! Jävla skitskog. Men men. Shortly after posting the video, Elin receives a very disturbing message from one of her friends. The friend points out that a bizarre distorted face can be seen peeking Ooh. out at Elin from behind Ooh. a tree. What Ooh. makes the footage even creepier is that at the bottom of the same oh, tree, man. there's another unexplained dark figure with glowing eyes. Oh now, man. The eyes at the bottom of the tree could simply be an animal. But just what is that? Oh god. After I reached out to Eel and she explained to me that yeah. she's a skeptic and doesn't really believe in the supernatural at all. That got me. And it only got me when it slowed down me and played the second time, which is quite rare. Normally I get used to it, but yeah. It was so weird. And it, start, it was so normal, and I thought, yeah, there was something, and then suddenly it rammed up, and there was something down there, and the, the thing, yeah, it was, it got me, it got me. It was strange, it got me. Hope this never happens to me, because then I, yeah, I could never, never stroll through a park again. And I like parks. I like nature. I want to make something very clear here. I don't believe in the paranormal. I am not scared of my own video. I think it's creepy looking, but I don't believe it to be a ghost. As for all these like ghost videos out there, I believe that there's always an explanation for them. It's just that we don't know what the explanation is. She's never posted any paranormal videos to Instagram or to her YouTube channel. She says she's puzzled and just wants help in figuring out just what this strange shape could be. Oh, Ellen returns God. to the park a day later to look around in daylight, but she doesn't find anything that could explain what she captured on camera. She says that raccoons and possums are incredibly rare in Sweden and certainly don't- <laughs> That's not a possum. What are you smoking, man? It's not a possum and it's not a raccoon. ...usually show up in a city center park. I think it was this tree and for everyone claiming there's a den here. There's no f***ing den here. There's no den. At all. That not is by this tree either. That is so weird. 
as you can see, there are skyscrapers down there. So for everyone saying it's a lynx, like, no, we don't have lynx here. We don't have bears. We don't have... Uh, it's just a possum. Raccoons. See all the wildlife here? All the bears and lynx. Oh my God. I can't believe there's so much wildlife here. It's like I'm in Yosemite. So, what do you think? Oh man. Could this be something paranormal? Could it be a creepy creature? And perhaps the most disturbing question of yeah. all. Why does this strange thing think so? Oh man, look at it. What is that supposed to be? Is it a mask? Is there someone having a laugh at her? Seem to have long dark hair, like a person. Oh man. Whispering in church. Over on the channel Urbex Hill, YouTuber Christopher Hill is back with another urban exploration of a creepy old abandoned church in Cleveland, Ohio. This time, Chris is exploring an old Lutheran church that was built back in 1940. The church has been abandoned for over 15 years, yeah, he but likes it has that. somehow remained in fairly good condition, free from any vandalism or graffiti. Chris carefully and respectfully makes his way through the large building, recording the elegant architecture of the church interior. So that's good. He's polite, slowly walking there, politely. So he won't poke the entity like others have done before. So good for Urbex. He finds furniture and belongings that date back to the 1980s and even some pieces from the 1950s. But as he climbs the stairs to the second floor of the abandoned church, he hears some very strange sounds. We've seen this one, but we'll watch it anyway. That stop him in his tracks. There's a girl. This, I like this perspective. This place where he's at, that's good for horror. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this, this corridor. I love this. The setting. If there would have been something coming from back there, you know, back uh, there, and it would, it would, if it was night. Did you hear it? The baffled explorer explains in his video that he hears something strange as he climbs the stairs to the second floor, but he's not sure just what the sound might be. So I decided to enhance the audio from this section. Now watch the clip again and listen closely. That, no. There were word fragments that I think were perhaps correct, but you know what I think about this. If you read the subtitles, you will hear what this in the subtitles. It's just basic psychology, confirmation bias. So, might have said test, but the other th stuff it said supposedly, I don't think it did say that. Curious childlike voice can be heard saying, Can you help me? And then seconds later, what sounds like the voice of an older woman seems to whisper, It's a test. Chris has no idea what he just captured and continues on with his exploration on the second floor of the creepy church. Yeah, there was this scary noise and then I thought to myself, Let's continue. Let's continue in this creepy building. Let's see if we find the little girl or the old woman that did these voices. Let's have fun and poke it. No, of course not, but... Then much yeah. later, when he comes back to the same staircase again to head back down, it happens again. Such a great location. The, the going down as well. Nice. This time a voice can be heard whispering something. <laughs> and again I enhance the audio, but this time I'm not able to make out just what is being said. It almost sounds like multiple voices whispering all at once. Listen again and let me know in the comments if you can make out anything that the creepy voices are saying. Don't smoke! Don't smoke! Or <laughs> something like that. Chris eventually leaves the church having no idea what he just captured on camera. 
But after he uploads his video to YouTube, things take a very creepy turn. Viewers of his channel point out to Chris that he might not have been alone in the old church. While Chris did hear the strange sounds and whispering, he didn't see this. Where's the creepy thingy? Where is the creepy thingy creature? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We've seen this one. Yeah, we've seen that. That looked... A huge dark figure yeah. can be seen standing in a room at the end of the hallway. Chris... That is a great monster. I like that. If if he would have done more with that... I mean, of course, he doesn't do anything. I mean, I mean he's not a horror producer as far as I know or hope because, you know... But if we assume this is this is legit, this is a scary monster, and I'm glad it didn't come closer. But I I really like that idea. I mean, it's like like the veal or something like that. He turns to film close-ups of the church's stained glass windows, and when he pans back, the large mysterious figure is gone. Yeah, that's so creepy. So non-human like. Chris capture voices and an apparition of spirits that haunt the old church. You decide. You can watch this full video and many more of Chris's explorations over on his YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. The Haunted Ranch. Mexican ghost hunter Crisel Luna and a friend travel to an abandoned ranch in a small town in Jalisco, Mexico. Crisel talks to a local man named Salvador who is part of a work crew that is remodeling the property. Hmm. Salvador tells the two investigators that all of the workers believe the ranch to be extremely haunted and they have even found human remains on the site. Not the workers good. claim to have experienced many strange things while working at the ranch. They've heard strange unexplained sounds in the property's warehouse. They've heard footsteps going up the stairs to the second floor and many even claim that they have seen the apparition of an elderly woman wandering the grounds. Griselle and her friend begin their investigation on the second floor and soon begin to experience strange activity. I want to start this investigation climbing down these escalators that he was talking about. Some escalators that they heard that a person in the morning Subía, se escuchaban los pasos, como ahora los míos. Y dicen que siempre al llegar al último escalón dejaban de escucharse, como si esa entidad ya no quisiera llegar hasta este espacio. Ay, que la verdad es bastante escabroso. Vean que tiene algunas... Habitaciones, vamos a iniciar por esta. Vamos a ver qué es lo que hay aquí. Se ve que hay algunos muebles antiguos que ya están llenos de tierra. Que ya están. Oh, ¡Ay! No, 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 viste, Melissa se movió. Sí, se movió. Ay, Dios mío. Pero ya acabamos de llegar. Sí, estaba moviendo, ¿verdad? Yo vi como que se movió esto. The two investigators make their way down into an old warehouse that is being used as a storage area. They find dust-covered furniture, discarded building materials, and even an old broken-down truck. And then things start to get a bit weird. While exploring the dark and dusty warehouse, Griselle gets a very creepy feeling. She says that it almost feels like they are being followed by something. Something. And Griselle's bad feeling soon turns much worse. Y acá se ve una bodega. A ver, vamos oh, a ver. No, no, o sea, no. que se siente la temperatura mucho, mucho más. Oh, fría. no face, no, please, no, not a ay, face. Allá atrás. Ay, Dios mío, que será un gato, un perro. ¿Quién anda aquí? ¿Quién anda ahí? Ay, ay, ay. Está horrible. A ver, vamos a ver. Is it Kayako? Ay, estoy escuchando ruidos. Is it Kayako? ¿Quién anda ahí? ¿Sabes qué? Yo siento que alguien nos está siguiendo. Siento de verdad desde hace ya un rato, Melissa, como algo viene pegado a mi espalda, pero siento que algo está jugando con nosotros. ¿Qué habrá ahí? Yo siento que ahí se escuchó el ruido, ¿eh? Ay. Hola. ¿Quién eres? Oh, did you hear that? Ay, como una mujer. Oh, that's messed up. 
It's so messed up. Pero eso fue muy claro, fue muy claro el... Como un lamento, como si alguien estuviera llorando. ¿Quién anda ahí? ¿Necesitas ayuda? ¿Quién eres? Una sombra, una sombra ahí atrás, ahí atrás. Ay, ay. Oh. Oh. Just, yeah, yeah, do that. Just get out of there. Yeah. The two investigators hear the sounds of something moving in the dark storage area. And then they hear disturbing moans that sound like a woman quietly weeping. Griselle and her friends start to regret their decision to come to the haunted farm at all. Yeah. And they decide to end their investigation with a prayer. And that's when things take a terrifying turn. See, you don't poke the ghost with prayers. Why would you do that? That's so stupid. Why would you do a prayer? I mean, yeah, if you were... If you were quite, um, I don't know, if, you, if you're addressing the problem in a rough manner, you might think that's a good idea, you know, because, yeah, it might be, yeah, we are doing holy things, and yeah, no. No, you have no idea what you're dealing with. No idea. Why would you pray? I mean, you can pray, it's fine. But why would you pray when there's perhaps something there? You're poking it. What if it's a Muslim ghost? What if, what, what if it is a, a Hindu, a Hinduistic ghost? And you're praying, I mean, I'm assuming they are Christian because they sound Spanish or Mexican. Or I, I, I don't remember what she, or what she, what, what, when you said where they came from, you know, but yeah, so they probably will pray something Christian. And if it's a Muslim ghost or thingy and yeah, or if it's a entity, I don't know, Hinduistic or a Japanese Taoistic. I, you know, I, I don't know. You're just gonna gonna anger it. You're gonna make it mad. Why are you doing that? Just because it's there in that country doesn't mean that the ghost is from that country. You know, that's, I don't I don't understand this. I do not understand this. So narrow minded. I'm sorry. Yeah. Por todas estas almas o por la entidad que se encuentra aquí. Porque hemos sido testigo y es muy, muy impactante lo que hemos vivido dentro de este sitio donde sé que hay almas en pena o probablemente solo... You called... You just called it a lost soul. Why are you doing that? It's so stupid. What if it's not a lost soul? What if it's an entity from another place? And it's not a dead human. Why, why, why would, why would uh, what we call ghosts be a dead human? Could, whatever, could be whatever. You know? You just angered it with that. I can guarantee you that. Una que está aquí y que es la que se ha manifestado. Esta oración fue para ti y para todas las demás entidades que se encuentran aquí. Yo creo que es momento de retirarnos porque... ¡Ay, no mames, no mames, no mames! No mames. It was the grudge. See, if it's the grudge, it's Japanese. Why would you pray in Christian, you idiot? Why are you charging it? Oh, she's charging it. What's wrong with you? Oh no, don't go under there. Oh man. Okay, that got me. This got me. But yeah, whoa, man, you're so stupid. No, vámonos ya. Vámonos, vámonos, con cuidado, con cuidado. Es momento de irnos. Oh. A shadowy figure with dark hair and pale shoulders rises oh, from behind man. the Yeah, that got me so Now, bad. Credit, Chriselle... And you know what? That got me so bad and they were so stupid. They could have avoided this so easily. What were they thinking? Yeah, they're experts, you know? That's what I'm saying. They're experts. They're not experts. They're idiots. They don't know what they're doing because they're quite narrow-minded. Idiots. So fearlessly rushes over to invest and then they anger the grudge with Christian prayer. I mean, how how dumb can you be? Investigate, nearly tripping on the old boards covering the storage room floor. But there's no one there. The two friends have finally had enough and they decide to just get out of there. Yeah. So it's gonna follow you home and it will get you. Are the stories about the ranch true? Does a dark female spirit roam the property? Or is it all that is so you know, this this looks like like Samara or Kayako. It it does, right? It's not an old woman. 
So their legend was shite. Sorry for language. So their legend was shite. They, they were messing around with it. It was not what they were expecting. They got themselves into danger. What were they thinking? All just an elaborate house. Oh my. You decide. You can find this full investigation over on the YouTube channel, Chriselle Luna. Thanks so much. Yeah. I mean, they... I mean, I, I bet they mean well, but this is nothing you play around with. And you're not an expert. And this proved you are not an expert. If anything proved you're not an expert, this video did. Yeah? Man. That made me mad. And it scared me. It, it really scared me. The ending really, really scared me. Yeah, so good job, Nuke. You did a good job at scaring me. I was scared twice, I think. Let's recap. But I will calm down a bit and I will take a sip of water. Don't poke the entity. And now we can continue our recap. So, yeah. Anything on this channel. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We started with the blanket man. This is a great idea. It's a scary idea. I'm not sure if this is legit. I mean, it's, it's an easy trick. You know, you need a... You need a basketball below the blankets. You need strings that you can't see in this uh, bad quality. And then you just have to pull it up. And it moves like this, and then you have to uh, release it and it will fall down. He said that they were not people that do stuff like that. But we can't trust that. So I think this is fake. And yeah, the, the I have to give credit to them. The idea is great, and it looks scary, but the execution was bad. They could have made a much scarier much more weird and mysterious video of this. You know? I think it started with the fact that he just um, that he just opened the camera, looked at the screen and filmed the screen and did not put it on the whole screen that is here. You know? Little stuff like that. Little stuff like that. So yeah, this was... I'm almost... Yeah, I, I think this is this might be legit. Because this has nothing to do with ghosts. He's just a Richard. He's being a Richard policeman. We don't need Richard policemen. We need very, very good policemen. So, yeah, he was being a Richard and he was exposed. And, and this happened in the background. I don't know what it was. So it might be legit, but I did not get scared. It was just something to think about because it was really unusual, that, that figure. And then the, the, the forest one was the first one that got me. It did not get me at first. It didn't get me when it popped up. I didn't really see it. And then when it, he slowed it down, it was a bit weird. And then when he slowed it down and focused on it, zoomed in, then it got me because it was so creepy. And what made it really, really creepy afterwards was her reaction and what she, what she said, that she doesn't believe in this. She never uploaded something like that again. And... It appeared that she did get comments on this, so she answered some comments, you know, and she denied it and nothing happened ever again, you know? So, there might be a legit man, and that's unnerving as hell. This is unnerving as hell because this is so weird. This is so weird. And then there was no hole in the ground in front of the tree. Nicely done. I mean, it wasn't done. I w it wasn't done. You know, I, I think it wasn't done. Not by her, perhaps a prank, perhaps a really good prank. And yeah, she seemed quite calm, quite collected. She, I liked her sarcasm. I, I liked that, that woman. She was seemed to be in a, in a good place, even though she seemed to go to a psychologist. But I think yeah, at first glance, she might be okay. And I hope she's okay if she had something. I hope she got help. And she seems to be a lovely person. So yeah, I wish her well. I wish her well, and I hope this never happens to her again, and looks like it didn't. Looks like it didn't. So, good for her. That's good. That's good. Then the church one we already saw. Again, I think this is fake. 
just yet yeah, I this time I really really understood what 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 they did I think what they did I think let let me get to the part yeah here here here, here. perfect 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 this is where is it yeah here you see the one on the left and the one on the right on the right you see it as well it's just a, it's just a jacket just a coat it's a coat that is someone is holding it up in the left frame and in the right frame it's lying on the on the a chair uh, in the background you know so someone probably is just in the left room there's someone standing behind it holding it up then he panned left and then he just put placed it there again i don't know looked fake the voices again easily fakeable and i couldn't make out what they said so yeah whatever and then these ding dongs these ding dongs man i was so mad about this i was mad because they really really poked it and they had no idea and they proved to us that they were not experts they were not and that's what i'm always talking about they are not experts you are not an expert if you think you know some prayers or whether sorry when 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 you were at the place where you might think that's haunted and you went around and you had a little little gizmo thingy with you and you measured some electromagnetism that i don't know what it's supposed to do still don't know that i mean if if you know let me like I said, let me know in the comments what these uh, these things do. And that would be something interesting. Perhaps one day I will look up one of those things and I will or I will build some. I mean I've got some 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 electronics. I've got access to several electronics. I might I might build some something that's supposed to catch, I don't know, ghosts, voices, whatever. And I will tell you what I think about it. So I will really analyze it while building it perhaps in a video one day. Per perhaps if we ever go to a thousand subscribers or something like that. I don't, probably we won't. But you know, that would be a nice thing for a thousand milestone. I will build a ghost detection thingy f from scratch. That's what I'm going to do. And I will document it and we will try it out. But we might not go there. We will not get there. But yeah, then again, that would be fun. But again, then I would be an expert as well. You know, I am not an expert. But you have to think a bit, and you can't assume that the ghost is. You see, this was. I'm sorry that I I'm going on so long about this one, but this is such. It is so so exactly what I was always talking about. The ghost does not have to be what you think it is. So they went there. They thought it was an old woman that was probably Christian. Did not know where to go to the afterlife. Something like that. You know that that was there framework what that, that they had going and they told the workers and they said yeah we found some remains human remains perhaps it wasn't that have you ever thought about it no they did not and perhaps they were thinking yeah it's so funny let's do this let's do a video i mean we know what we're doing and then this happened because this was not something that you could count with christian prayer and you just made it mad and it got me it got me. It got me because the location was great. Perfect. Perfect location. I loved that one. Yeah, I, I went on about this for long enough. I'm sorry if that bored you, but sometimes I have to get something off my chest about these videos. And uh, yeah, so I was multi-scared. Both videos, I really liked them. And so mission accomplished. And yeah, I hope you take care if you go ghost hunting and Think about what you think is right to counter ghosts and think about how you know that. Was it just something someone told you, something that you assume or did you, do you have really, really good reason to think that you know what you're doing? Might be that you do. I mean, being polite seems to work in most of these cases. I have, I think we've yet to see someone who is polite to an entity, really polite and asking what it wants. And then it attacks him that that's I don't think I don't think we've seen it. Perhaps we've seen it in this one grudge house thingy where the the grudge came and I was so the, the one where I got the most scared till now. That might be, but that was fake, I think. So we never saw it really in a real situation like this. Uh, this might be legit. This might be legit. It, it looked quite legit. I think. I mean it could have been faked, of course, but I I have a feeling this is legit. I mean, and, and you could make arguments that it's not, and that's perfectly fine. 
that's perfectly fine. We won't know until they might be exposed that they did a hoax here. But even if they did, I can tell you why it went wrong. So, yeah. You, great person, take care, please. Please don't poke the entity, don't poke the ghost, don't poke the Kayako grudge thingies. And, yeah, have a happy, scary day. Bye.